menstrual cycle. So this is a reproductive cycle which occurs in human females and this menstrual cycle involves the whole reproductive organ of females. So you can see it here, this is the ovary and this is the fallopian tube and this region is called as the uterus and cervix and vagina. This is the atypical structure of a female reproductive system. So it, it consists of a pair of ovaries, a pair of fallopian tubes, uterus which is lined by the cells called endometrial cells and the lower part is called cervix and this part is called vagina. So now we are going, we are going to learn in detail about the menstrual cycle. As I mentioned earlier, it is a reproductive cycle which occurs in female body and uh, this cycle it occurs once in a month. Usually this cycle it will be a 28 days cycle in a normal healthy woman, but sometimes it can be plus or minus 2. So it can be 30 or it can be even 26 days, but a normal healthy woman they will have the reproductive cycle is about one month that is 28 days and this cycle it will not be there once if a female is pregnant. In the pregnant condition this cycle it won't take place and uh, during this cycle reproductive cycle what will happen an ovum, one ovum it is produced in the ovary. So there will be two ovaries, we will have that right side ovary and left side ovary. In that two ovaries, from these two ovaries, any one ovum it will be produced. Either the ovum it will be produced in right or left, but even though two ovaries are there, two ovum cannot be produced, only one ovum it will be produced by the cycle. It can be a right ovary or left ovary, but they produce one ovum. And this menstrual menstruation or this menstrual cycle, it starts at the time of puberty. There is attaining age and it starts with menarche and it starts with and stops with menopause. So what is this menopause? Menopause is the stage in which the female, it starts with age of 40, 45 to 50 years. So during this year, the menopause starts there. Menopause is the cessation of menstrual cycle. So this cycle it will be there right from puberty till 50 years and after that the cycle it won't be there. So during this cycle only what will happen the reproductive cycle the menstruation process takes place. So what is this menstruation? Menstruation is nothing but the inner lining of the uterus. This region is called uterus. The inner lining of the uterus it is called endometrium. So during this menstrual cycle what will happen? The endometrium that is the inner lining of the uterus it sheds. The tissues there it get ruptured and when, when the tissues here rupture in the endometrium ruptures what will happen? It starts bleeding and the bleed it comes out through the cervix and vagina. So that process is called as menstruation process. This process it will be there from 28 days in that first 4 to 5 days the shedding of the, uh, the endometrium takes place which is called the menstruation. And uh, the menstrual cycle begins with the first day of bleeding that is the 0 or 1 the first day it starts with the bleeding of the blood from the endometrium. So that is called as the menstruation process. So that is the first. Then what will happen here? There are certain hormones are there which regulates this particular menstrual cycle in the case of females. So here in the anterior pituitary that is called adenohypophysis. It is the anterior pituitary. So this anterior pituitary it produces lot of hormones. In that main hormones are LH that is called luteinizing hormone 
the another hormone is called as the follicular stimulating hormone these two hormones it play an important role in menstrual cycle the adenohypophysis it is the anterior pituitary an endocrine gland so this anterior pituitary and endocrine gland it produces lot of hormones in that the luteinizing hormone and follicular stimulating hormone play an important role in the menstrual cycle so here these are the hormones that regulates the menstrual cycle the first hormone is called the luteinizing hormone and follicular stimulating hormone so these two hormone it plays an important role in a process called ovulation so what is that ovulation it is the release of ovum from the ovary is called ovulation the release of ovum from the ovary is called ovulation which is under the control of these two hormones and uh, and also these hormones it stimulate the ovary to produce an hormone called estrogen and progesterone so the ovary which is there in the female body it produces the hormone called estrogen as well as progesterone which helps to maintain the pregnancy and uh, this estrogen and progesterone it stimulate the uterus to prepare for fertilization implantation process that means once fertilization process the meeting of the gamete takes place that zygote it has to get implanted in the uterus for that these are the hormones so basically four hormones are involved here luteinizing hormone follicular stimulating hormone estrogen and progesterone these are the hormones which play an imp important role in regulating the menstrual cycle next we are going to talk about the stages are phases in the menstrual cycle so there are three phases in the menstrual cycle the first phase is called the follicular phase second phase is called ovulatory phase and third phase is called the luteal phase these are the three phases are there so first phase that is called follicular phase as i mentioned earlier there are four hormones that are there we can see those hormones the luteinizing hormone the follicular stimulating hormone the estrogen and progesterone so these four hormones it will be there in fluctuation during the menstrual cycle the first phase that is the follicular phase during this follicular phase what will happen the estrogen and progesterone level it will be low the estrogen and progesterone level you can see there this is the progesterone level and this is the estrogen level it is low when it is low what will happen the endometrium it get eroded and shedding of blood takes place that is called menses so when estrogen and progesterone and these two hormones level is low it induces the endometrial wall to rupture and releases the are shedding of the blood as well as the shedding of the degenerated ovum takes place then what will happen the follicular stimulating hormone which is from the anterior pituitary it increases it increases and it increases the cells follicular cells that is present in the ovary to develop into ovum so here what will happen here the ovary inside the ovary there are so many cells it will be there minute cells will be there so those cells are called as the follicular cells so these follicular cells which is there inside the ovary and they develop one of the cell develops into ovum and the rest of the cells it surrounds them and finally what will happen the ovum it will be released from the ovary so this ovum it releases from the ovary so this process of uh, releasing the ovum from the ovary is known as ovulation process so this is the graafian follicle so this transition of follicular cells into an ovum it is controlled by a hormone called fsh that is called the follicular stimulating hormone follicular stimulating hormone fsh so this hormone only controls that so here 
the follicular stimulating hormone it increases the level of that increases once the level increases it stimulates the development of several follicles in the ovary and those follicles develop into ovum and one of the follicles there are a lot of follicle cells are there in that only one cell develops into ovum and that follicular cells it produces the hormone called estrogen estrogen this is how estrogen is produced here so basically in follicular phase the estrogen and progesterone level is low and the action of the follicular stimulating hormone it will be more because the hormonal level fsh it will be increased during follicular phase whereas estrogen and progesterone level is low the next phase it is called ovulatory phase in the ovulatory phase what will happen the luteinizing hormone the luteinizing hormone which is produced from the anterior pituitary as well as the follicular stimulating hormone it the level it will get begin increase once the increase then lh hormone the luteinizing hormone it stimulates the ovulation that is the release of ovum from the ovary so the follicular cells so the follicular cells it increases the changes it increases the follicular cells it get it be converted into ovum by the action of fsh and the release of ovum the release of ovum from the ovary this is the ovary the release of ovum from the ovary it is by the lh the luteinizing hormone so that process of releasing the ovum from the ovary is called ovulation which is done with the help of the luteinizing hormone so this luteinizing hormone it stimulates the ovulation and exactly the ovulation a release of ovum takes place in the mid day of menstrual cycle that means if the day is 28 days exactly the 14th day the 14th day the menstrual are the release of ovum takes place from the ovary into the fallopian tube and here this is the follicular cells so this follicular cells it where many follicular cells like this it will be there and one cell develops into ovum and again that cell it become a graafian follicle and the release of ovum takes place this is the ovary from that the release of ovum takes place that is called ovulation process that ovulation is controlled by luteinizing hormone and now what will happen the estrogen level and progesterone level start increasing after ovulation the reason is so this progesterone it is produced from the ruptured graafian follicle and estrogen it is from the follicular cells so that level slowly increases this progesterone is an important hormone which maintains pregnancy and along with estrogen and progesterone it helps the thickening of the endometrium which is ruptured in the follicular phase so that the it can receive a fertilized blastocyst implantation in the uterus so the estrogen and progesterone level get increased at the end of ovulatory phase the next phase it is called the luteal phase the luteal phase what will happen the luteinizing hormone lh which is which induces the ovulation and follicular stimulating hormone which induces the development of follicular cells it get decreases once they decreases the you can see it here this is the follicular cells and now the ovum is released here that is called ovulation after that what will happen the scar this graafian follicle which is here it develops into a scar that scar is called as the corpus luteum so this corpus luteum only produces the hormone called progesterone along with this progesterone the estrogen produced by the follicular cells both involves in thickening of the uterus so that it can able to prepare for possible implantation if fertilization occurs if during this time the 14th day if the sperm meets with the ovum so there the fertilization process takes place once it is fertilized this ovum which is released here if it is fertilized it get implanted in the uterus so that implantation it needs thickening of the uterus or the rebuilt of endometrium is required so that is done by the progesterone as well as the estrogen and if the egg is not fertilized then what will happen this corpus luteum it develops into a scar called corpus albicans corpus albicans 
and then decreases or disintegrates. So during once the corpus albicans is formed, the egg is not fertilized, then the corpus luteum become corpus albicans and disintegrate. During that time what will happen? The estrogen and progesterone level completely decreases. Now once it is decreases, then the menses starts. Now again the first phase, the follicular phase starts here. These are the different stages or phases which is there in menstrual cycle. The three phases are there. The three phases which is follicular phase, ovulatory phase and luteal phase. So this follicular phase, the first phase it takes place between 0 to 5 days and 5 to 17 days you have the uh, ovulatory phase and luteal phase is the last that is 17 to 28 days is called luteal phase. During this phase only the endometrium it is ready to receive the fertilized ovum. If it is not fertilized it again starts the new cycle where the menstruation process the shedding of the endometrium takes place. This is the thing which is the phases that occurs in the menstrual cycle.